Hi students, now I am going to teach 10th algebra exercise 3.8, third sum. Find the values of A and B in the following polynomials are perfect square. So the given polynomial is a perfect square. We want to find the unknown value A and B. A and B. So find the value of A and B. The following polynomials are perfect square. So this term is important. Perfect square. The polynomial is perfect square. Listen. This is this is also first sum model. You know very well. The given polynomial. Look, the given polynomial powers x power 4, x power 3, x power 2, x and constant. So right as it is 4 x power 4 minus 12 x cube plus 37x square plus bx plus a. So we want to find b and a, constant term and the coefficient of x. So our first term is what? Square root of first term. So square root of 4x power 4. So square root of 4x power 4 is 2x square. 2x square. So right here 2x square and here also 2x square. So 2x square into 2x square is 4x power 4. 2 twos are 4. x square into x square is x power 4. x power 4. So simple change. This is minus 4x power 4. So 4x power 4 minus 4x power 4 cancel. So write down next two terms. Minus 12x cube plus 37x square. Minus 12x cube plus 37x square. And double this quotient value right here. 2x square into 2. 2x square into 2 is 4x square. So take this divided first term and divisor first term. So minus 12x cube divided by 4x square. Minus 12x cube divided by 4x square. So minus divides plus is minus 1 4 is 4. 3 4 is 12. x cube by x square is x. So this is minus 3x. Minus 3x. So right here minus 3x. Here minus 3x. So minus 3x into this divisor term. So minus 3 into 4, minus 3 into plus 4 is minus 12. x into x square is x cube. So minus 3x into 4x square is minus 12 x cube. Minus into minus is plus 3 3 is 9. x into x is x square. So now sign change. This becomes plus 12x cube. This is minus 9x square. So minus 12x cube plus 12x cube will be cancelled. So 37 less 9. 37 minus 9 is 28x square. 28x square. So next write down next two terms. That is plus bx plus a. So these are unknowns. Plus bx and a plus a. So double this quotient and write it here. So 2 into 2 is 4. 4x square minus 3 into 2 is minus 6x. So now divide and first term. So this is our new divide and divisor. So divide and first term by divisor first term. So 28x square divided by 4x square. So divide and first term by divisor first term. 28x square by 4x square. x square x square cancel. 1 4 is 4. This is 7 times or 8 times. 7 4. 7 4 are 28. So this is 7. So that is plus 7. Right here plus 7. And co divisor plus also plus 7. So now 7 into this, this divisor. Now we do 7 into 4x square minus 6x plus 7. 7 4 are 28. X square. 28. X square. Plus into minus is what? Minus. This step is very important. Listen. Plus into minus is minus 7, 6 are 42 x. 7 into 6 is 42 x. Plus, because plus into plus is plus 7, 7 are 49. 
seven sevens are forty nine. So say our question. Perfect square. Find the value of a and b if the following polynomials are perfect square. So the given polynomial is perfect square. So definitely the remainder is zero. Remainder is zero. So now we compare x coefficients and the constant terms. So compare constant terms. A is equal to forty nine. The value of a is equal to forty nine. And compare x coefficient. So here x coefficient is minus forty two. Here x coefficient is b. So b is equal to minus forty. So compare this x coefficients. B is equal to minus forty two and constant term is a is equal to forty nine because the given polynomial is perfect square. Therefore, the value of a is plus forty nine. Value of b is minus forty two. Next, third question, second row. Find the value of a and b if the following polynomials are perfect squares. So second row one is a x power four plus b x cube plus three sixty one x square plus two twenty x plus hundred. So here a and b are unknown. So this type of problem, we want to change this polynomial lowest power to highest power. That means constant term x x square x cube x power four because a and b are unknown. So we want to write the polynomial of polynomial power. Ascending order that is constant of x x square x cube x power four like this. So right first term is hundred plus two twenty x plus three sixty one x square plus b x cube plus y x power four plus y x power four. So you know very well. Ten tens are hundred, but square root of hundred. You know, square root of hundred is what ten. So right here, ten and here also ten. Ten tens are hundred. So sign change means this becomes minus hundred. Hundred minus hundred is zero. So write down next to two terms. Next two terms are what? Two twenty x plus three sixty one x square. Three sixty one x square is our next two terms. So double this quotient and right here, ten into two is twenty. Double means multiple by two. So ten into two is twenty. So right here twenty. So now divide and first term by divisor first term. Next step is divide and first term by divisor first term. So two twenty x divided by twenty. Two twenty x divided by twenty. Zero zero cancel. One two is two. Eleven two sir. 22. So this is 11x. 11x. So right here plus 11x. Here also plus 11x. So take this 11x. 11x into this divisor. 11 into 20. 11 into 20 is 220. So 220x. 11 into 20 is 220x. Plus into plus is plus 11. 11s are you know 11 into 11 is 121. So this is 121. X into X is X square. 11 into 11, 121. X into X, X square. So now sign change. This 220 becomes minus 220X. This term is minus 121X square. So plus 220X minus 220X will be cancelled. So 361 plus 121. 1 minus 1, you know zero. Six minus two is four. Three minus one is two. So this is two forty x square plus two forty x square because three sixty one is bigger. One twenty one is smaller number. So we put simple plus. So this is one minus one zero. Six minus two is four. Three minus one is two. So write down next two terms here. Our next two terms are what? Plus b x cube. Plus y x power four plus b x cube plus y x power four and then next up is double this quotient and write it here. So ten into two is twenty plus eleven into two is 
22x. So 20x, 20 plus 22x. So divide and first term by divisor first term. So divide and first term is what? 240x square. 240x square divided by divisor first term is 20. So 240x square by 20. So here 0, 0 cancel. 1, 2 is 2. 12, 2 is 24. So this is plus 12x square. Plus 12x square. So right here plus 12x square. Here also we write plus 12x square. So 12x square into this device fully. So 12x square into 20. You know 12 into 20 is 240. So 240x square. 12 into 20 is 240. 240x square plus because plus into plus is plus. 12 into 22. 12 into 22. Listen. 12 into 22. So multiple this unit places. 2 2 are what? 4. 2 2 are 4. 1 2 is 2. Here cross multiple. 2 2 are 4. 1 2 is 2. 2 2 are 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. So right here 6. Now this place. 1 into 2 is 2. Right 2. So 2 6 4 is our answer. 264. So 12 into 22 is 264. X square into X is X cube. X square into X, X is X cube. Right? X square into X is X cube. Next, plus into plus is plus 12 into 12. You know, 10 square is 100. 11 square is 121. 12 square is 144. So, 12 into 12 is 144. X square into X square is X power 4. So, this is 144 x power 4. So, don't change sign. This type of problem. Don't change your sign. Give n polynomial is perfect square. Listen. Find the value of a and b. The following polynomials are perfect square. So, perfect square means definitely the remainder is 0. Remainder will be 0. So, just compare the coefficient and constant terms. So, here we want to compare coefficient of x cube and coefficient of x power 4. So, first compare coefficient of x power 4. So, here coefficient of x power 4 is a. Coefficient of x power 4 is 144. So, the value of a is the value of a is 144. Now, coefficient of x cube. Compare coefficient of x cube. So, plus b plus 264. So, b value is equal to 264. b value is equal to 264. So, our second question answer, A value plus 144, B value plus 264. Next, fourth question, find the value of M and N in the following expression are perfect squares. So, this also third sum model, but here we find M and N value. So, our first question, 1 by X power 4 minus 6 by X cube plus 13 by x square plus m by x plus n. So, look, the uh, x power 4, x power 3, x power 2, x are in denominators. So, I am going to take, let y is equal to 1 by x or 1 by x is equal to y. 1 by x is equal to y or y is equal to 1 by x. So, y is equal to 1 by x means how to write this polynomial? 1 by x is y. 1 by x power 4 is y power 4. So this first term becomes y power 4 minus, so this minus 6 y cube because 1 by x is y plus 13 y square. 13 y square plus m y plus n. So, let us take y is equal to 1 by x means the given polynomial will be y power 4 minus 6 y cube plus 13 y square plus m y plus n. So, here you want to find m and the n values. Right? So, you know y power 4 square root of y power 4 is 
y square. So write here y square and y square. y square into y square, y power 4. So sign change means this is minus y power 4 plus y power 4 cancel. So write down next two terms. So this is minus 6 y cube plus 13 y square. So minus 6 y cube plus 13 y square. So double this quotient 2 into y square 2 y square. So now divide and first term by device as first term. Minus 6 y cube by 2 y square. Minus 6 y cube by 2 y square. Now plus d minus divides plus is minus 1 2 is 2. 3 2s are 6. y cube by y square is y power 1. So this is minus 3 y. Minus 3 y. So right here minus 3 y. Yeah, minus 3 y. So minus 3 y into this device. So minus into plus is minus 3 2s are 6. y into y square y cube. y into y square is y cube. Next minus into minus is plus 3 3 is 9 y into y is y square. So right sign change this is plus y cube plus 6 y cube this is minus 9 y square. So plus 6 y cube minus 6 y cube cancel 13 minus 9. So 13 minus 9 is 4 y square. So 13 less 9 is 4, 4 y square. Write down next to two terms here. Plus m y plus n. So this is our new divided. 4 y square plus m y plus n. So write here new divisor. So double this quotient right here. 2 y square minus 6 y. 2 y square minus 6 y. So now we want to divide. Divide and first term by divisor first term. So 4 y square by 2 y square. Right? 4 y square by 2 y square. So 1 2 is 2. Here 2 2 is 4. Y square and y square cancel. So we get plus 2. We get plus 2. So write quotient place and divisor place. Here and here. So 2 into this divisor. Want to multiple 2 into 2 y square minus 6 y plus 2. So 2 2 is 4 4 y square 4 y square plus into minus is minus 2 6 are 12 y 2 6 are 12 y plus into plus is plus 2 2 is 4 2 2 is 4. So the given polynomial is perfect square. So our given condition is what? Given polynomial. Find the value of m and n. The given expression or polynomial are perfect square. Our condition is the given polynomial is perfect square. So definitely the remainder will be 0. So write here 0. Now compare coefficient of y and constant terms. So compare coefficient of y. Here coefficient of y is m. Here coefficient of y is minus 12. So the value of m is minus 12. Therefore the value of m is minus 12. Now compare the constant terms. So here constant is n. Constant term is 4. Both are plus. So the n value is 4. The value of n is 4. Therefore the value of m is minus 12. The value of n is plus 4. Next. Fourth question, second row one, find the value of m and n. The following expression are perfect squares. x power 4 minus 8x cube plus m x square plus nx plus 16. So this is a polynomial power r, power r in order. That is descending order of power. For x power 4, x power 3, x power 2, x and constant. So right. Write the polynomial as it is. Here x power 4 first minus 8x cube plus mx square plus nx plus 16. Right? So you know very well x power 4 means 
square root of x power 4 is x square. So write here x square and x square. x square x square is x power 4. Sign change means this is minus x power 4. x power 4 minus x power 4 cancel. So write down next two terms minus 8x cube plus mx square. Minus 8x cube plus mx square. And double this we get 2x square here. So minus 8x cube plus mx square. So divide and first term by divisor first term. Minus 8x cube by 2x square. Right? 1 2 is 2. 4 2's are 8. x cube by x square is x. So this is minus 4x. Right? So right here minus 4x. Here minus 4x. Minus 4x into 2x square. Minus into plus is minus 4 2's are 8. x into x square is x cube. x cube. Minus into minus is plus 4 4 are 16. x into x is x square. Now sign change. This becomes plus 8 x cube. This is minus 16 x square. Minus 8 x cube plus 8 x cube will be cancelled. So we get m x square minus 16 x square. So here m and minus 16 are coefficient of x square. So, write like this, m minus 16 of x square. So, m minus 16 of x square because m x square and minus 16 x square, x square x square are common. That's why I am going to write m minus 16 x square. So, write down next two terms here. Our next two terms are plus n x plus 16. Plus n x plus 16. So, double this quotient value right here. 2x square minus 8x. 2x square minus 8x. Now divide and first term by divisor first term. Now we divide. Divide and first term. That is m minus 16 into x square by 2x square. Divide and first term by divisor first term. So here x square x square only cancel. We get the remaining is m minus 16 by 2. m minus 16 by 2. So, write here plus m minus 16 by 2. Here also write m minus 16 by 2. Okay. m minus 16 by 2. m minus 16 by 2. So, take this m minus 16 by 2 into this divisor fully. So, m minus 16 by 2 into 2x square m minus 16 by 2 into 2x square. Listen. m minus 16 by 2 into 2x square. 2, 2 cancel. We get m minus 16 of x square. So this is m minus 16 of x square. Next. m minus 16 by 2 into minus 8. Listen. m minus 16 by 2 into minus 8x. Minus 8x. So 1, 2 is 2. 4, 2 is 8. So this is minus 4 of m minus 16 into x. Minus 4 of m minus 16 into x. So you are right. Minus 4 of m minus 16 into x. This is our x coefficient. Minus 4 of m minus 16 into x. Plus m minus 16 by 2 into m minus 16 by 2. You know, a into a is what? a square. That's m minus 16 by 2 into m minus 16 by 2 is m minus 16 by 2 the whole square. So, m minus 16 by 2 into m minus 16 by 2 is m minus 16 by 2 the whole square. So our given condition is the given expressions are for buck square. Given expressions are for buck square. So the remainder is 0. So the remainder will be 0. So now we compare x coefficients and x coefficient and constant terms. So x coefficient is here n, here minus 4 of m minus 16. So plus n minus 4 of m minus 16. 
n is equal to minus 4 of m minus 16. So compare x coefficient here n here minus 4 of m minus 16. So n is equal to equate this x coefficient means n is equal to minus 4 of m minus 16. Here n and m are unknown. So take this equation number 1. Now compare constant terms. Constant term is plus 16 m minus 16 by 2 the whole square. So equating com, uh, constant terms we get m minus 16 by 2 the whole square is equal to 16. Equating constant terms we get m minus 16 by 2 the whole square is equal to 16. So taking taking square root or both sides. So taking square root on both sides we get m minus 16 by 2 is equal to 4. Because square root of m minus 16 by 2 the whole square is m minus 16 by 2. Square root of 16 is 4. So set this 2 to right hand side we get m minus 16 is equal to 4 into 2. You know 2, 2 into 4 is what? 8. So m minus 16 is equal to 8. So z is minus 16 to right hand side. We get m is equal to 8 plus 16. m is equal to, you know addition, 8 plus 16 is 24. So the value of m is 24. So we use the value of m is 24 in equation 1. So we use m is equal to 24 in equation 1. So this is the first equation. So instead of m, we want to write 24. So n is equal to minus 4 of 24 minus 16. n is equal to minus 4 of 24 minus 16. n is equal to minus 4 of, you know, 24 minus 16 is what? 8. 24 minus 16 is 8. This is equal to minus 4 into 8 is minus 32. No? 4 8s are 32 minus 32. Therefore, the value of m is 24 and the value of n is minus 32. This is our fourth question, second Roman answer.